Hi, John Rhodes here, and welcome back. Big hello to all my subscribers, and for those of you that have just found the channel, why not subscribe now? Many of you have been asking excellent questions via the channel, and I thought it was about time to set up a vlog so that I could answer many of them a lot more quickly than finding a suitable case, making a video, and then downloading it. So here it is, the John Rhodes Endo Vlog. Today we're going to be looking at microscopes. Obviously an invaluable piece of kit for endodontics and many of you have asked me what setup I use so I'm going to show you the basics of my setup. You've also asked about purchasing them and I'll run through a few things that I think are key when looking for a microscope. So here's one of the microscopes that we use. It's a Global A6. The first thing I think that's key with a microscope is that you've got a very good light source and an LED is the way forward. This gives you very bright light that you can use to then look into the pulp chamber of teeth, right down the root canals, look at micro cracks and all of the things you need to see. It's also invaluable if you want to take photos or video of your cases. We've got a variable objective lens here. My associate's a lot taller than I and so it makes the setup a lot easier. We can make sure the focal length is correct and our posture is correct when we're working. Binocular eyepieces, of course, most microscopes come with these. And then steps of magnification. You can get variable kind of zoom magnification on microscopes. In this case, they're separate steps and there's six of them, but you need at least three. We've got a beam splitter. This allows the image to then pass into a digital camera, and in our case we're using the Sony A6300. You could have an observer scope on here to allow your assistant to look at what you're looking at down the microscope. However, we've found it easier to use screens. We have two screens per um, camera, and we use these to focus uh, when we're taking video and also if we're taking still images. And so to recap, when looking for a microscope, the first thing, an excellent light source, preferably LED, this will be super bright. Make sure the focal length is correct for your body height so that you can work comfortably. Root canal treatment can take a long time and you want to be relaxed and comfortable during that. You'll need at least three times magnifications or a variable focusing magnification. A beam splitter is excellent because this allows you to document cases with video and cameras or have an observer scope for your assistant. And if possible, try before you buy. Well, I do hope that answered some of your questions and you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And above all, enjoy your endo.